but mainly dry today. Windy for some and a few bright spots possible later this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are able, can you please stand for the brand? Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to start by letting you know I'm not used to public speaking, but I'm going to try and make the most of it though. Because I've been told this is the last chance I'll ever get to speak for myself now that I'm a married man. <laughs> My gorgeous wife, Gabriella, you look absolutely stunning today. I want everyone here to know how lucky I am to have met you. You say you don't marry someone you can live with, you marry the person who you can't live without, and that's certainly true. Gabriella, I love you in so many ways and for so many reasons, but mostly because you're my best friend and my soulmate. Amazing mum to our beautiful daughter Layla, and I thank you for giving me the honour of becoming your husband. Do you take a Margot seat to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. I know this is the start of many happy years together excited for what the next chapter of our lives will bring. I love you and I don't know what I'd do without you by my side. Husband and wife, would you like to see that? <laughs> so on behalf of my wife and I, we'd like to welcome you all to our special day and thank you all for coming. We are thrilled so many of our friends, family and Dean have been here celebrating with us today. Some of you have travelled a long way to be here, if that we are truly honoured. Thank you to all of you for your gifts, cards and generous contributions to our honeymoon. I can honestly say it wouldn't be the same without all of you being here today. Although it would have been a lot less stressful making a speech to an empty room. Please can everyone stand for a final toast and raise the glasses to my beautiful wife, Gabriella. Yeah.